What's up everyone, just a quick and easy video on some nice and useful trading view features, shortcuts and tools that I use on a daily basis and I learned along the way using TradingView that really helped me uh, just save a lot of time using TradingView. So I think we all want that. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. The first thing is something I think a lot of you guys already use. It's the favorites bar. So if you have your set of tools that you really like, you just need to go to the toolbar on the left and mark the little star icon there and you'll see it at on your uh, favorites bar. You can then move it wherever you want. And if you want to disable it from your chart, you simply just go to the um, bottom left and disable this star icon. I mainly use this, uh, I don't use the toolbar, so I'll just use this thing right here. The next thing I use that saves me a lot of time is called the object tree. You can find it at the bottom right of your training view, just this little stack icon. If you click it, you'll see that this window, this object tree window will pop up. So how you use it earlier on, if I was just about to draw things on my chart, let's say some brush, trend line, call out some rectangles. Let's just mess the chart up for the purpose of this video. So earlier on, I was um, gonna delete all these drawings just separately by clicking on it and just doing it this way. But sometimes it can be very, very hard and frustrating. So this object tree can actually help you with that. So right here, you'll see everything that's on your chart. And instead of deleting everything separately on your chart, you can just do this and everything is gone. Um, so other things I use with this is uh, just click on the top one, click on the bottom one, and hold down shift and then you can select everything together and click delete. Another thing you can do is let's say you want this and this tool to be in a group. Just select the layer and just right click and you'll see create a group of drawings. Now you can select and drag it into this group or multi-select and drag it into this group. It can be very handy because then you can just only hide this group and the other drawings will still remain visible. Really cool thing to use because it saves a lot of time. The next thing I use a lot are called alerts. So let's say you're only interested in taking long positions only once price hits this level, then you can just put an alert at this horizontal array and just right click on it, add alert, make sure you just leave it as it is. I don't mess with this, but make sure you enable this notify in app. So that way, once price reaches this level, you'll get a push notification on your trading view app if you have that on your phone. There's also a way you can get an SMS notification once price hits your alert. Um, I can do it because uh, it's something with my country, but if you go to your profile, uh, then you can go to settings and here you have an option SMS email. So basically the email um, needs to be connected with your phone provider. Um, it's a little bit hard, but basically what it comes down to is in my country, I can't um, do this because your phone um, provider needs to be in your email and I don't have that. It's not also listed in this, but if you're from a country and you see your um, email provider right here, your phone provider, sorry, you just use this and fill it in right here. And that way you'll get an SMS notification with that, which I think is pretty cool uh, to use. So something I need to add is that you can track your alerts and edit them, delete them right here. The next thing that's super useful is the magnet. So whenever you have a horizontal tool, like a horizontal array or a trend line, you can actually enable this magnet tool and it will snap to these highs and lows. I think it's very beneficial to use this because trading is all about precision. So really recommend that you use this magnet tool. Some other shortcuts that you can use um, while using this magnet is let's say you use the magnet tool, you wanna place uh, a trend line. If you don't wanna uh, use a magnet tool that snaps to every point, you can just hold down control and you see it won't snap. If I release the control or the commands, if you're a Mac, uh, it will snap again, but you can also disable it right here. Of course, if it's disabled, you can hold control and then it will snap. So it's like inverse. So just prefer what you like. And it can also be very convenient to define your stop loss and your take profit to precision. So let's say I want a long once price comes down here, but I want to make sure that my stop loss is exactly at this low. Then what I would do is I make sure I select the magnet tool. And now it's just a matter of dragging the stop loss to the left exactly to this low and you'll see that your stop loss will be at this low. So very uh, convenient also for your take profits. I wanna make sure I take profits um, right here. Then I just drag this uh, TP exactly to that high and that way your setup is set. Okay, and lastly, I wanna give you guys some other shortcuts that I don't think are useful, but are I think are cool to use. So let's say you have this long position and you wanna put it a little bit to the right. And I just, if you have a numpad on your keyboard, you can just use your arrows and it will slide like that. So I think 
It's a really cool thing to use. I don't know if you need to use it, but nice to know. Also, if you want to drag things to the left and right while sticking to that horizontal position, you can just select the tool and hold down shift and move it to the left or right. You can do this with everything. Let's say Fibonacci tool, you want to place it a little bit to the left, just hold down shift and it will stick to its horizontal position. Another useful thing is that let's say you want to measure how much percentage Euro USD went up from here to here. Then you just hold down shift, uh, left click and go to the top and then uh, left click again and you'll see that uh, this up move um, duration was in five days and nine hours and it went a total up of 2.35%. Just left click and it will be gone. Um, last thing I want to give you guys is something, let's say my chart is all messed up and I just want to have a clear vision on this time frame. Then I just quickly um, press Alt R. Uh, let's say I'm on a daily time frame. Just want to make sure it's um, local. Then I just do Alt R. So yeah, that's basically everything I use. Um, some useful things, uh, no bullshit indicators thing that everyone will show you on YouTube. So um, if you enjoyed this video, just give me a thumbs up, uh, comment on this video and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.